here, of course, uh, match day plus one, having our press conference with the derby. Um, you take on the other side, uh, their match day plus one could have been on Sunday morning, Kaiser Chiefs. Um, and at that point, we, we still had two matches to play. Um, so it's not much preparation, it's about recovery. It's about uh, seeing exactly which players are available, um, seeing which players that you saw in the match uh, last night. A uh, lot of substitutes had to be made, a lot of players had to be arrested, some injuries. Uh, so we have to manage uh, in relation to our preparation. You cannot do too much on the pitch. Um, so it's a lot of video, it's a lot of uh, um, tactical analysis in relation to how we can score, uh, where are the, the weaknesses, where are the strengths. Uh, uh, and freshness. Freshness is the priority to get uh, everybody on the pitch uh, ready to perform for 90 minutes. Um, I think uh, the mood, um, I think the, the event itself sets the mood. I think uh, each and every player is ready. Um, just going to uh, make sure that we get there and we do our best and we work as a team, we work as a unit. And uh, we carry on uh, uh, working together and, and playing uh, the good style of football that we've been producing lately. Um, so, the Anthony has not been raised on the platform, and that we have had 34 participants. May I ask our members of the media to please raise hands on the platform so that I don't continuously disturb the sound? Um, okay, perfect. Um, you may go with us. Uh, firstly, greetings to, to Coach Whitewood, uh, as well as uh, Mandine. Uh, this is for Coach. Uh, Paris are currently involved in, in, in continental football, but obviously the competition that Paris really wants to be a uh, part of is the, the CAF Champions League. Now, in order to, to, to get there, obviously, is the, you need to be in those Champions League spots, which are first and second. Now, realistically speaking, for many people feel like Kaiser okay, Chiefs and Orlando Parents are competing for that second spot. How important do you think this fixture is in deciding who eventually will take the lead and to get into that uh, second uh, spot, which is crucial for the Champions League qualification? Yeah, I think your question has, has two parts you know, in relation to Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, if you just look at the history, um, last season uh, they were competing in the Champions League. And it definitely affected the league form. I think they struggled to qualify for top eight in the end. Uh, and the season before, they were quite early out. They didn't have a, a continental football to worry about. And they lost the league on the last day. So on the preparation front, yes, they should be uh, by default uh, the ones challenging. They should be uh, by default. They only have the league to, to worry about. Just take uh, January, uh, they've played three matches so far, we've played six matches so far. Um, but we have to be there. We have to take this game uh, like any other game. Yes, it's a direct rival that is uh, fighting for the Champions League spot. And we definitely want that. Uh, but it's definitely not a game that you play not to lose. It's a definitely a match that uh, winning the game will give you that advantage. Winning the game will put you up uh, there in second spot already. Um, and that is what we're aiming for. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. Good afternoon, Bandile, and uh, good afternoon to all my colleagues as well. Uh, you know, the, the, the derby is, this is really special. You can see, you know, the mind games have begun. You know, it's either Coach Nuyas uh, uh, or Coach Fatlu uh, confusing the opposition. But, Coach, um, to, to be quite honest with you, Coach, what is what is uh, what is the mindset of of Capatino Mango? I mean, a lot of been said about him, you know, going into the derby. Uh, what is he thinking? What is it, my mindset? Where is it? Is he, is, he, is he likely going to be playing? Is he sulking? Are you guys, as the coaching staff, putting an arm around his shoulder, telling him, keep on working hard, your opportunity is going to come? Where is he mentally, uh, uh, Coach Fatlu? And to Bandila as well, uh, you've been scoring in the last couple of games. I think you've got three in all competitions now. Uh, are we most likely to see you making those daunting uh, runs into the final third on Saturday? Are you most likely to score again up against you know, a, very, a very big opposition against KZ Chiefs? Thank you. I don't like to talk about uh, single players. Uh, I think we treat uh, all our um, 36 players uh, the same. Uh, 
uh, and definitely not only Gabagdino Mahongo, but uh, Tsiho Fatsu Mabasa, uh, Radio Pane, who's scoring every week and, and looking at us and, uh, hey, when am I getting my opportunity? Uh, but it's about managing the squad, yes. Uh, as you saw in the last couple of matches, he's uh, been in the squad and that is only a, a signal of his performances in training. So that has definitely put him a step closer uh, and fighting for a place. Uh, so is Tsiho Fatsu Mabasa. So is uh, uh, Radio Pane, and, and that competition is strong. At the moment, Gabardino Mahango has the, 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 um, the nod in the last few matches ahead of Tsiho Fatsu Mabasa, ahead of Radio Pane. But they are working hard, they are pushing, they are fighting. Uh, Lepasa, uh, Pepre as well, they are in the squad, um, both doing well uh, as well. So that competition is strong. And, uh, like we tell all our players, not only uh, strikers, but uh, double six, uh, wing backs, wingers, uh, Moniani doing very well week in, week out, looking for his opportunity. Um, but the player playing uh, in that moment is, is also uh, pushing and doing well. So uh, it's competition throughout the squad and uh, uh, I can only send the signal not only to one player, but to the entire squad as uh, work hard. Uh, be ready because that opportunity can come at any moment. There are players that are, are big match temperament players and we know them. And uh, yeah, um, the competition, the starting lineup uh, is completely open. Uh, we can see it in the training session, training match we had today. Uh, players putting up their hand, uh, uh, players performing uh, in a derby uh, situation. Uh, we have one training session today for the non squad players for the substitutes uh, having a training match, uh, playing a limited amount of minutes, still being available for the derby and uh, you already see uh, the, the players that are, are pushing, the players that are putting up their hand, the players that are looking you in the eye, not with, uh, not literally, but with the performance on the pitch and uh, now uh, at the moment the competition is really high, really good and uh, we have to keep it there. Thank you, Tandi. Coach, good morning. Good morning. Bandila, so, sorry, Chepo, sorry, uh, Bandila, uh, are you are, are we last likely to, to see you score? You scored in the last couple of games. Sorry about that, Chepo, sorry. Um, I think uh, for me, it's, it's all about the team. Um, um, individually, it comes later. Um, I'm just going to work, try and uh, assist the team where I can. And scoring will be just a bonus, but just to make sure that I do my job. Um, I work to my full potential and my ability and make sure that we get the results on Saturday. And scoring will come later if I do what I do. If I don't, as long as the team produces the three points, I'm, I'm more than happy. Okay, thank you, Coach. Morning, Coach Bandile. Coach, many believe that the Soweto Tabi has lost some sort of spark maybe due to probably the pandemic or the lack of fans or maybe the dominance of sundowns uh, what's your take on that thank you uh, the fans uh, the supporters make uh, the soweto derby and uh, you know having a, a full stadium uh, i've experienced before since some year and now experience uh, the last couple of derbies with uh, no atmosphere it's completely different but uh, that rivalry that uh, wanting to win that uh, supporters uh, um, outside, uh, where you the fever, derby fever is still there. Uh, it's just the, the spectacle on the pitch is slightly different. Uh, a, a hollow uh, stadium uh, makes it completely different uh, because uh, in, in, the, in the previous derbies where there were fans, uh, you can't hear yourself speak. It's then the players' mentality that is, is has to come through. It's small tactical uh, elements that you can now fix with the empty stadium. You can shout to your left fullbacks that's on the opposite side and he will hear you. Uh, in a derby, it's about the players uh, and that is where the big match temperament. That big match temperament is still required because it's a huge game watched by millions. Uh, but definitely it hasn't lost its spark. Uh, and we know once the fans come back, uh, uh, that derby, that spectacular, that uh, will be back uh, as it was before. Thank you, Sister Tandy. Uh, afternoon, everyone. Uh, coach, why are goals uh, eluding our Pirates, considering you, you have some of the most lethal strikers in your arsenal? You know, you have Lepasa, the Pepra, Mabasa, Mahango, but, but the goals are, are just not are not coming. And for Bandile, uh, sure. 
we didn't expect so many goals from you. Did you expect uh, to score so many goals uh, when you joined Pirates? Uh, you, you played a very advanced uh, role right now. Is it something you've always had, you know, that eye for goal? Or it's something that Pirates uh, just brought it out of you? Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, if you look a little bit back on the history of, of us last season and now last season we sat with zero strikers uh, and now everybody's fit and uh, uh, we suddenly sit uh, with six strikers that are competing for, for one position. And that is always the question you have as a coach, uh, uh, the strength of your squad. Um, do you play with two strikers? Do you take one midfielder out? Uh, at the moment we're dominating games in terms of possession. Having the numbers in the centre of the pitch, having the extreme width uh, uh, on the sides with our, our wide wingers that are actually strikers. Um, so yeah, it's just about us finding the right balance. And we have been uh, scored six goals in the last game uh, after two zero down, and in the last match having all these opportunities and not scoring. So yes, you can blame it on the strikers, but I think us we have to take the, the responsibility in relation to finding the right balance. And you want your strikers. Uh, to score, yes, that's their primary job. Uh, but of course, uh, uh, you need your your three players behind your strikers. You need your wide strikers playing left side, right side to also contribute to goals. And that uh, Hotto, uh, Shando on the other side have been contributing on that uh, front. So uh, it's just about us finding the right balance, finding the right balance, what is uh, right for the team. And uh, that questions are constantly going through our mind uh, as technicians, uh, myself and Coach Mandla. Is it the moment to play with two strikers? Is it uh, the right game? Is it uh, our, how we're evolving as a team? Uh, will that playing two strikers solve the, uh, the goal scoring problem or uh, finding the right balance with uh, the three uh, players behind the striker uh, to contribute as well? Really good uh, out of Otto side, uh, Bandile Shanto side uh, that are contributing, uh, but we need everybody. We, let's not uh, blame it on the strikers. Uh, let's look at the collective. Uh, and so, so exactly you can say for the defensive uh, structure, you don't uh, really uh, applaud the goalkeeper alone. It's uh, really a team unit from the striker, how you press, how you play in the opponent's half. And uh, all of that, uh, those things we have to look at holistically to, to, to fix this uh, goal scoring problem. Thank you, uh, Sir Standy. Uh, Bandile, good luck. You are doing well. Keep up the good work. Uh, coach, I'm just interested to find out from you how far is Vincent Pule in terms of recovery? Yeah, he had a he had a setback um, after getting the clearance. It was a, a tricky surgery that he had uh, on the muscle. Uh, so uh, we're taking it a step slow, uh, a, um, more cautious approach because it is a muscle that has been operated on and. Uh, uh, another three weeks of uh, rehabilitation again, and uh, hopefully uh, by the month of April, uh, if all goes well, it will be, it'll be cleared for selection. It, it was very close in, in coming back, but had a slight setback. So uh, the cautious approach is now what's needed for him to pass his minimal standards in relation to his uh, rehabilitation. And then hopefully we'll have him with the... Uh, um, I don't want to put my head on the block, but uh, uh, by April month uh, or late March. Let's take a quick breather. We're back with this in a few moments. Yes. Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, Coach. Coach, um, going into this match, um, uh, you have uh, had uh, quite difficulties in terms of your the, the number of matches that you are winning. Uh, you have played the majority of the match, you have played draws, and now, obviously, the, the only thing that is left for you maybe is to fight for that second place. How difficult it, it, it's going to be to turn... To turn those uh, draws now in, into win in your in your last uh, nine matches, given given how you have struggled to to win matches in your previous matches. Uh, it, it's been uh, if you take the the league form, but you have to take into uh, to consideration that we played six matches so far and, and already winning the, the first two. Uh, but it's Net Bank Cup, it's uh, Cap Confederations Cup, uh, and then the league match comes at the time where you where you get the draw. Uh, 
uh, that's, those are, are momentum and uh, that's uh, really a situation where we won four in a row. We take the last two in December, the first two in January, but we have to win five in a row, which is the league game. We have to win six in a row, seven in a row. And uh, that consistency and juggling of competitions and still having the same mindset is really what we're trying to build in the squad. Not uh, um, you, you travel back uh, from Libya, uh, you come into a situation where you don't have much time to prepare, but still have the right mentality to, to, to be able to perform uh, at the right level, still have the mindset to be able to, to score goals and finish teams off uh, uh, earlier in matches. Because, you know, uh, with the fatigue catching in in the second half, uh, like we saw last night, you're not able to play at that same intensity. But uh, that is the mindset what we have to hold, uh, um, and not uh, taking matches for granted, having the right mindset for 90 minutes, whether you had two days to prepare, whether you had three days to prepare, whether you had seven days to prepare. And, and that is what we're trying to uh, to hold in the players, uh, uh, control their, their thinking, don't think fatigue, think next action, uh, and then be able to perform at a consistent level uh, to win six, seven, eight, nine, ten matches in a row. And that is what we, we have to hold, whether it's league, whether it's net bank, whether it's CAP Confederations Cup, uh, that is what we're trying to hold within the players to be able to approach each match uh, as a cup final to get the three points, whether it's league, whether it's CAP Confederations Cup, whether it's net bank cup. Coach, um, this is for you. I just want to touch back on, again, the continent as well as the goal scoring issue because it doesn't seem like for Orlando Pirates it's an issue to find goals when you're playing on the continent. But when you come back home, it seems like it's a, it's a tougher ask. Do you feel like the, the opposition is, is, is a factor in that? Is it much harder when you come back home to play against uh, teams that know you? And also, you mentioned the type of caliber of forwards that you had. And in two names you mentioned, in, in Gabriel Mango and Radio Pane, who have had um, goal-scoring momentum at different levels. Do you feel as if not using those players while they've had those goal-scoring momentums, um, putting them straight into the team, is the, do you feel like not putting them straight into the team after they've had those goal-scoring momentums at different levels has been a trick missed upon uh, the management side? Uh, sorry, your first question. Uh, can you just repeat? Oh, the first question was, you know, why do you think it has been harder for Orlando Pirates to translate their goal scoring form from the continent uh, to the to the, the local scene? Do you think it's a question of opposition? And then the second question, just to refresh your memory again, is the the, the two options of Radio Pan and, and, and Mango. We know they've had goal scoring momentum in different um, uh, competitions this season. Do you feel like there's been a trick missed upon the management? by putting them straight in after having that momentum? No, uh, with your first question, it's, uh, we, we can't use that as an excuse. You can't say that uh, Cape Town City came last night uh, to Orlando Stadium and, and played for the point. Uh, it's our job to be able to unlock, uh, whether it's a deep block, whether it's a high press, whether it's a, uh, a medium block, uh, um, with the defensive structure, knowing our strengths. We, are, we should be able to, and as Orlando Pirates, we're a big team, we should be able to find solutions uh, in relation to whatever the opposition may um, present to us defensively. Low block, medium block, six defense line, five defense line, flood the midfield, high press. Uh, we should be able to, to unlock them. Yes, uh, in the continent, uh, it's also what we've uh, been faced. So you can't really say uh, it's, a, it's, um, it's a tactical uh, um, a situation that we, we're struggling with because low blocks on the continent, low blocks uh, on the um, last night against Cape Town City. We're unlocking teams, we're getting behind teams, we're getting these huge chances. So uh, on the positive note is we're creating uh, enough chances to win matches. We're unlocking defences, whatever they present uh, to us. Uh, we're building up through a high press. We, we're unlocking low blocks. Um, it's about finding the, uh, the killer instinct uh, uh, in that final third, in that... Uh, um, penalty area in the box, uh, um, uh, what has to be executed in the right moment. Uh, then it relates to your to your question, uh, the goal scoring form, is it just a copy and paste? Is it just a, a moment uh, that uh, you put these two in and suddenly your goal scoring uh, 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 issues are going to be solved? Uh, uh, I, I think it's a bit more uh, intricate uh, than that. Um, it's about finding the right moment, an example for Radio Pani. 
Uh, he has played matches before and he's done well. But it's about finding the right moment for a youngster, 18 year old. Is it the right moment to to throw him in in a dog bit to start against Chiefs? Maybe uh, some players can handle it, uh, but it's about us finding the right moment for the team. Uh, for Gabardino Mahango, for Tsekhovat Somabasa, this is a moment. And when that opportunity comes, uh, I please, I, I beg the media uh, in relation to Tsekhovat Somabasa, Radio Pane, Gabardino Mahango, other players playing in different positions. Let's not slaughter them uh, where they have the opportunity uh, and, and it's, it's not working. Uh, we like to bowl the players up and then uh, kill them uh, on the first moment. It doesn't work. Uh, we have to find the right moment and when the opportunity comes, we hope they can be that uh, solution. And the striker is uh, um, that uh, has that special instinct in relation to one goal, opens it up, you're on a momentum, you're scoring then regularly each match. You don't know how you score with your knee, with your head, with your chest. Uh, and that is what we, we're trying to find in the moment. Pepre has scored his uh, last match uh, in the Cap Confed. Last night created a lot of opportunities, not really in the near post, one uh, huge opportunity to score. Um, and it's about us finding that moment. And in relation to your question, yes, we're finding the moment, we're waiting for it. Let's hope uh, uh, when that opportunity comes, these players can come and dislodge the players uh, actually playing at the moment. Thank you, Sister Andy. Uh, Bandile, are you are you surprised at how well you've you've done at Pirates? How well you've you've adapted? And do you feel robbed? You know that you're not getting the full derby experience with eighty thousand fans. You know at the FNB Stadium. Thank you. Um, I think it goes back to the. It just proves how um, the coaches, the great coaches that we have. Recording in progress. Um, the great uh, uh, players that are around me to help me. Um, uh, just, it just proves um, how, how one can, can, can take a, a step um, forward and, and, and really produce um, to a result where I am. And uh, I, I thank the coaches, I thank uh, the, the, my teammates um, for helping me to adjust quickly and, and actually perform at a high level. And, and, and help the team where I can. So, so yeah, I take a uh, huge thanks to them uh, uh, for helping me, my teammates, and, and the coaches as well. Hi, uh, Coach. I just want to know if you could possibly give us an update on uh, Tulani Shatswayo. Will he be returning to action soon? Thank you. Yes, he, he's been training, uh, uh, full training after his injury. So he's back uh, in full training, uh, competing for place. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, um, Coach. Mm -hmm. I just also wanted to ask for a quick update. I heard you talking about uh, Tembinkosi Lodge yesterday. Uh, you know that he has a muscle injury. Um, there's another half a day that has passed. I don't know if you have maybe some new news uh, about the scans or anything whether he will be able to make the squad for the for the derby. Thank you. Yeah, we he's uh, he's had the scan. We're waiting for the the doctor to send his report to our medical team and then to make an assessment. At the moment, it does not look good. Um, having the injury match day minus one. Really trying to be prepared, as you saw uh, in the Cap Confederations Cup match as well, uh, where we took uh, Lord Marco Shandu Monari off um, as a precaution already. Uh, Lord uh, had this hamstring issue um, two games back, uh, and he's played through. Um, but at the moment, it does not look good. Uh, we will we wait for the scans uh, from the doctor, from the specialist sent to our medical team and uh, we'll get the report. But so far, um, it does not. Coach, um, obviously in the in the first, in the reverse leg of, of the derby, uh, you went down to, to case the Chiefs. Uh, the first part of the question is how far has the team come since that result? Um, and also the second uh, part of the question is um, going, going forward, now, uh, what do you think needs needs to improve from Orlando Pirates uh, so that they can be more consistent in terms of you know pushing a team like Mumbai Sundowns? 
Yeah, I think uh, the, the the previous derby, and you you talk about the the penalty we conceded. It's not coincidence. Uh, uh, you can go back to how many penalties uh, guys at Chiefs have had in this derby. I hope we can uh, really be clear in relation to uh, penalty decisions tomorrow. Uh, clear, structured uh, um, decisions, neutral uh, on both sides. Uh, Yes, you talk about the billiard uh, incident, but we know billiard a player. If you you, you touch him a small uh, uh, a touch or any contact in the box, and uh, already he's diving uh, uh, in the Olympic pool uh, on, on both fronts. So I hope our referees are clear and know these things, uh, uh, knowing that any contact uh, in and around the box and Orlando Pirates concede another penalty, uh, that we can be clear and, and know what is coming in relation to especially uh, Kaiser Chiefs front three and especially uh, Billiard. Um, but yeah, the, we, we take the, the positives out of the last derby. Um, conceding in the last minute, uh, coming back uh, the way we did, dominating the way we did, uh, uh, we take those positives. Uh, but they have changed team. Uh, they now have been moved to a, a back three or back five uh, with Rama on, on, as a wing back on the one side, Crossley on the other side. Perhaps another option if Plum does not play in the midfield, he's playing on the wing back position. So it's definitely a, a situation that uh, um, a five defence line, difficult to unlock, difficult to, to break down. Uh, and we know, uh, as they did in the last match, uh, unfortunate mistake uh, with uh, Tyson passing the ball to the goalkeeper and they uh, they scored from that uh, situation. And we know that is Kaiser Chiefs at the moment, really well coached, really well structured uh, defensively. Uh, but they wait, they wait for you to make that mistake. They wait for you to have that turnover and they hurt you with their front three uh, on transition. So uh, they're one of the best teams in relation to their transition uh, um, with pace, with the quality they have of their front three, uh, but also really defensively strong with their five defense line, not easy to break down. So it's up to us uh, to be able to unlock this five defense line to minimize the mistakes uh, because that's what they're waiting for. They can wait uh, up until the 91st minute for your mistake. Uh, not really a team that will really high press you, uh, but they will wait uh, for your mistake and then hit you on the transition. So we have to be really clear uh, to minimize the stakes and find solutions to be able to unlock this uh, five defense line uh, that they have installed uh, recently. Thank you, Mrs. Tandy. Uh, Coach Tepon Zulini from The Citizen. Uh, Coach Bartley, going to this game, would you say that uh, this is a game whereby you, know, you guys are fighting for a second spot finish at the end of the season together with Kaiser Chiefs? And the second question is, uh, there's a possibility of fans trying to, to stop the game at the Orlando Stadium or are going to protest uh, on Saturday? Uh, what's your take on that? Yeah, uh, uh, I cannot comment on, on the fans. Uh, really aware of, of that uh, I think, uh, with the media department. Uh, this is not really a question for me. Um, the second spot uh, is a target, yes. Uh, we make no, uh, um, we don't hide it. Uh, but we cannot be focusing on second spot uh, right now. We have to focus on the next match. And at the moment, with us playing uh, already six games, as the Chiefs having really time to prepare on the pitch, uh, we have to take it game by game. And now our priority is recovery. Our priority is uh, preparing the players uh, mentally, uh, physically for the match. And we take it game by game. We play every match to win. And this is, although it's a derby, uh, we, we don't uh, prepare any different. We just take it as a match that we have to go for three points uh, at all costs, like we do all matches. And that's it. 